Law, legal procedures and anything related to courts is steeped in history and in mystery. Progress is oftentimes slow, but then when progress is made, it must be appreciated. High praise and high kudos to Judge the Honorable Justice Gautam Patel for doing something extraordinary. Summons cannot be served by WhatsApp at least. There are modes by which summons need to be served to the opponent. And for uh, law students, that will scroll down now. Section 5 of the Civil Procedure Code of 1908, specifically Rule Number 9 and Rule Number 10. Rule Number 10 particularly deals with mode of service. Now, this is usually by registered post or by a bailiff. But in a particular case, where an urgent injunction, an urgent relief, an urgent solution was being sought by one party, it appeared that the other party was avoiding getting the registered post. It's a very common practice. You send a registered post to somebody who expects you to be doing something in the court, he or she will simply refuse to accept it. Refusal to accept a registered post is actually a deemed acceptance. But there is trouble in the courts to prove that to be the case. In this case, Justice Gautam Patel clearly acknowledged the position taken by the plaintiff's advocates, the applicant's advocates, and I must mention them here, advocates Birendra Saraf and advocate Ankita Singh of ANP Partners. Exceptionally great work where they persisted and convinced the honorable court that the opponent knew of the case knew of the date because of a WhatsApp conversation. He was also posted by email. And the number that is listed on WhatsApp was displayed on true caller to be belonging to the opponent. This much was enough for the honorable judge. He went on to recognize this as a fact that he knew about the court case. He knew about the date and was deliberately evading. By not accepting registered notice, he was having a valid excuse of not coming to the court. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore where the judge accepted a WhatsApp conversation to be basis of that knowledge. At least where Bombay High Court has jurisdiction, brother advocates and sister advocates can go ahead and argue and agitate on this point that a WhatsApp conversation, particularly a summons, or knowledge of summons by WhatsApp is a valid mode of delivery because of the particular stand taken by this honorable bench. I'll just read out something. The purpose of service is to put the other party to notice and to give him a copy of the documents. That is the reason the service is done. That is the reason a summons is given. So the other party comes and defends himself or herself. By not doing so, they tend to delay the ends of justice and eventually defeat it. Justice Gautam Patel also said, it cannot be that our rules and procedures are either so ancient or so rigid or both, that without some antiquated formal service mode through so and so, a defendant can avoid or evade justice. So I conclude today by telling you that you can inform your lawyers if they are defending you or you can inform the court yourself that the opponent is aware of this particular case by producing the conversation you had over WhatsApp. Thank you very much for watching me. Thank you for subscribing. In the last one month, there have been more than 300 subscribers. I thank them from the bottom of my heart. This is turning out to be a good community of viewers who are helping each other. I'd like to thank Faiz Mohammed, who works at the T2 terminal for helping one of my viewers who was in distress with procedures of checking into a flight. And that is simply because Faiz is also a viewer of this video. Thank you very, very much for doing this and I hope you continue to watch my video. Thank you.